Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Newman, a VA pharmacist, and I want to discuss the medication Arinumab AOOE with you and show you the proper way to give yourself this medication. I'll start with some, some general information about Arinumab, what you should look for after giving yourself the Arinumab injection, then I'll show you how to self-administer Arinumab. Let's get started. Arinumab is the first medication of its kind in helping patients like yourself who suffer from chronic migraine. Arinumab is not for everyone that experiences migraine. Your provider and you, after discussing your healthcare need and medication options, decided that Arinumab is the best choice for your needs. Just like any medication, Arinumab should not be used if you are allergic to the medication. If you believe that you have had a severe allergic reaction to the medication, please stop its use and contact your provider right away. Severe allergic reactions would be shortness of breath, swelling of the face, or hives within hours after the injection. You may also experience some side effects after injecting arenumab. Common side effects of arenumab include injection site reactions, such as pain, swelling, or redness at the site where you injected the medication, and developing constipation. Should the redness at the injection site or constipation become serious, please contact your VA pharmacist or provider. If you don't have the medication yet, this is what it looks like. Arenumab auto-injectors come in two different sized doses. With the 70 mg auto-injector, you'll see this button is purple. But with the 140 mg auto-injector, this button will be gray. The first thing to do is to read the prescription label. Make sure that the dose on the label matches the dose on the package. You should also inspect the package for any damage. Please refrigerate the medication immediately upon receiving it in the mail or picking it up from your VA pharmacy. The medication is not effective if left outside of the refrigerator for more than seven days. Be sure not to freeze the medication. If you accidentally leave the medication out for more than seven days, please discard and contact your provider right away. As with any medication, keep it in the original container and in an area that is out of the reach of children and or pets. Before we discuss how to give yourself an injection of arenumab, let's take a closer look at the medication. The arenumab auto-injector has several components. The white cap will need to be taken off before you start your injection. The green safety guard has the needle nested inside it. The window shows the clear liquid medication, and the window will turn from clear to yellow once you have injected all the medication. Don't touch this purple button yet. Also, there are several don'ts you need to remember. Don't use the auto injector after the expiration date on the label. Don't shake the auto injector. Don't remove the white cap until you're ready to inject. Don't drop it on a hard surface because there are some parts inside that you cannot see that may break. Gather all materials needed for your injection. These materials include alcohol wipes, cotton balls or gauze pads, adhesive bandages, and a sharps disposal container. If you don't have a sharps disposal container, you can use an empty liquid detergent bottle on which you have clearly labeled used needles inside. And of course, the Arinumab auto-injector itself. Of note, you should leave the Arinumab auto-injector at room temperature for at least 30 minutes before the planned injection time. Injecting cold or cool medication may result in unwanted side effects such as redness and pain at the injection site. However, please do not hasten the warm-up of the Arinumab auto-injector by using such methods as running it under warm water or putting it in a microwave. As we discussed earlier, don't put the Arinumab auto-injector back in the refrigerator after it has reached room temperature. Since this is a monthly injection, I recommend that you mark your calendar or schedule a reminder on your smartphone for the date of your next injection. This is an easy way to make sure that you don't miss the next injection. And to make sure that you have your next Arinumab auto-injector in the refrigerator, the Arinumab auto-injector has a very short needle, so the injection goes right under your skin, which is referred to as subcutaneous. 
The following areas of your skin are recommended for injection sites. Your thigh, your stomach area at least two inches away around your navel, and the outer area of your upper arm. For your upper arm, you should have someone else give you the injection. Here are the steps to inject. Wash your hands with soap and water. Dry your hands on a clean towel. Choose a target spot on your thigh or stomach and rub over the area with an alcohol swab. You will rub the alcohol on your bare skin. Let the alcohol dry. When you are ready to inject, pull the white cap straight off. No need to twist or bend the white cap. Don't pull the white cap off more than five minutes before you inject as it could dry out the medication. Don't try to put the white cap back onto the auto injector even after injecting. You might see a drop of liquid at the end of the needle or green safety guard. That's normal, but never put your fingers into the green safety guard because that is where the needle is hidden. Create a firm surface around the target site either by using the stretch method or the pinch method. For the stretch method, stretch the skin firmly by moving your thumb and fingers in opposite directions, creating an area about two inches wide. For the pinch method, pinch the skin firmly between your thumb and fingers, creating an area that is also about two inches wide. The important thing is to keep the skin stretched or pinched the entire time while injecting. With the white cap off, put the green safety guard in straight into your skin that is at a 90 degree angle. Do not touch the purple start button yet. Firmly push the Arinumab auto injector straight onto your skin until the auto injector stops moving. It is important that you push all the way down, but do not touch the purple start button until you are ready to inject. When you are ready to inject, press the purple start button you will hear a click. Keep pushing down on your skin. Then lift your thumb while still holding the auto injector on your skin. Your injection should take about 15 seconds. The window will turn from clear to yellow when the injection is done. You may hear a second click. After you remove the auto injector from your skin, the needle will be automatically covered. This is important. When you remove the auto injector, if the window has not turned yellow, or if it looks like the medicine is still injecting, this means you have not received a full dose. Call your healthcare provider. After injecting, immediately discard the used Arinumab auto injector and the white cap into the Sharps disposal container or empty liquid detergent bottle as mentioned before. You are done with the injection. Of course, you will want to pay attention if you experience any of the side effects that I have mentioned. Also, if the injection doesn't work in reducing the number of migraines or stopping your migraines completely, please let your VA provider or pharmacist know. I thank you for your service to our country and I'm honored to be of service to you this day.